My friends, Roman's countrymen. Folks, my first guest tonight is an actress and Oscar-nominated writer and director who made a tiny little movie you may have heard of. It's called Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. I got us both ice cream. Cool. Hi, Barbie. 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 Hi, Ken. Hi, Barbie. 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 Oh, hi, Alan. There are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. Yeah, I'm confused about that. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Greta Gerwig. <laughs> gentle, gentle. Hello. Hi. Hi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. It has been too long since we spoke the last time we were talking together was after Lady Bird. That's right. Which, you know, I deeply moved by and absolutely loved that, loved that film. Thank Love your directing you. of it and, and Little Women. And, Thank you. And, and since the last time we were together... Thank you. Since the last year we were here in 2017, five Oscar noms for your, your solo directorial debut, Lady Bird, followed by 2019's Little Women, another six Oscar noms for that. You gave birth to two children. And then this past summer, shattered box office records with Barbie all before turning 40 in August. So the question is, <laughs> why so lazy, Greta? <laughs> oh, I I guess I just really went for everything. I just was like, I you hit yeah. the gas. Yes, I yes yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and what, was was that a plan? Like I'm gonna I'm gonna. At 35, I'm just gonna hit the gas, give me the ball, coach, <laughs> let me run? Like, what, what? <laughs> I don't know that it was like, oh, uh, 35 was the time, but I think, I think I, uh, I think there was something where I loved, I, well, I loved directing so much, and when I got to do it, um, I thought, oh, I'm gonna keep doing this until they tell me not to do it anymore. So I'm gonna do it <laughs> as much as I can. And then I uh, really love babies. <laughs> it's a great combination. Yes, Go with what you know. That's fantastic. Yes, they're also so wonderful. Now, early in the run that I just described, I had the, 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 the honor to present uh, to you yes. this award at the National Board of Review for, yes. for uh, your directing and writing of, of Lady Bird right there. There we are together. And what I love is this. So there's me and there's you. And it's glass. You can't see it, but you have... The National Board of Review, it's so clear, it's a, you can't see it And I have it there. to tell you, you gave the most beautiful speech. You saw deeply into the movie. I was crying the whole time. It was so emotional and wonderful. Well, I think your yes. movie saw deeply into me. That's oh. why, is that <laughs> I love the idea of that uh, uh, attention and love being the same thing, that another vocabulary that you gave all of us and a way to talk about love and really paying attention to other people because love can be a four-letter word that scares us, but attention is something that we all must pay. Mm -hmm. And I, I was very grateful for the message of that movie. Thank you. But after this moment, what people don't see... <laughs> Thank you. What, what people don't see is that right after this camera was... I know. This, this photo, tell the people what happened. I dropped that uh, award in it and it shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> Yes. And, and it was I, like it was like a stunt uh, uh, award that was meant to shatter. No, it was the most. Ter it slipped out of my fingers and out of the corner of my eye. I saw S Steven Spielberg go, "No!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Ah!" And all the people who gave me that beautiful award looked at me like. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, the award ceremonies are sort of nerve wracking to begin yes, with, whether yes, you're receiving or, yes, or, or yes. giving. And you recently gave an award to Meryl Streep I at the, did, the Academy, yes, an I icon did. award. Yes. How did that go? That must be a lot of, you know, boy, Meryl Streep. It was what Meryl Streep. No, it was, it was very terrifying. I have to say that at that very beautiful ceremony, uh, I, uh, the first person to speak was Oprah. Also, she sure. was there, and sure. she well, she's everywhere. was <laughs> she was amazing. Obviously. Yeah. Also, I can't believe she said my name tonight. Um, that was exciting for me. Um, and but she she gave this beautiful, funny, wonderful, emotional speech. Didn't look at notes once. 
just yeah. is so effortless. Don't and you hate them when they can do that? I, and I'm all effort. Uh, my, I, all of my speeches are effortful and read <laughs> out, <laughs> like I'm giving a book report. It's terrible. <laughs> so and and I think, so, how to go with Meryl? I gave my book report on Meryl <laughs> Streep. I was not loose or funny. I, <laughs> I packed every adjective I could into this speech, but I love her so much, and I just want, I wanted to communicate that, but I, 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 I find speeches hard. Um, speeches are difficult. They are, they're, they're very, very difficult. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm not, it's, I think people assume that I'll be good at it because I write and I sometimes perform, but I'm, te I'm terrible at it. So that's, don't ask. <laughs> I mean, that's actually kind of makes me feel good because you're a, a great performer, you're a great director and a great writer, and if there's something you're not good at, I feel better. Oh, you know, I have that same thing. Uh, it's something similar with um, Margot Robbie, who's obviously the star of Barbie, and she's so wonderful yes. at everything she does. And she can do anything. You can literally tell her to cry out of one eye, and she can. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she's that kind of a person. Yeah. And she's just astonishingly beautiful. And my favorite thing about her is that she is pretty, uh, can't sing that well. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. And I made, her, wow. I made her belt out in Barbie, um, Indigo Girls, Closer to Fine. Sure. And she was like, no, don't make me do it. And I was like. I love this. I love it so much. I want it to be loud. And then in the sound mix, I was like, really make her out of pitch. Um. <laughs> now, this is other, this is, this is big news that, yes. that, that just came uh, over the transom here. Uh, you have just been named uh, Cannes <laughs> Jury President yes. 2024. Yes. You are the first American woman director appointed president of the Cannes International Jury. First of all, it gotta be a big deal for a movie maker, a movie lover like you to be the president of the jury. It's so the most exciting thing. What do you get to do? What do you have to do? What do you like? Do you get a badge? You, I, I, I hope they give you like a scepter, but, um, <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Um, but you get to watch like three or four movies a day, which is like all I want to do In anyway. Can. In Cannes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, and they're French. Yeah. And it's going to be very, very. You're so surprised yes. how French people are it's French. It's going to be, I, I can't wait. And I've, you know, it's like the pinnacle of, uh, of, you know, movies and cinema. And to be able to do this is extraordinary. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more Greta Gerwig, everybody. Don't go anywhere.